Hi, and welcome to Chewing It with Jersey Shore the Musical. I'm your host, Jason Lord, director and co-writer of Jersey Shore the Musical. Today I'm here with the lovely Karen Spicoli. Kelly Spore. Really? Today I'm here with the lovely Kelly Spore. Uh, Kelly, what have you selected for your cuisine? This is Thai from Asian Avenue. Excellent. Kelly, in the show you play the part of the producer. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that character? The producer is um, kind of the bad guy, kind of... Um, Kind of the supernatural element of the show kind of makes all the drama happen, like kind of behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, really, really the the devil. What did you do to prepare for the producer role? I wore more suits. Started wearing stilettos. You know, I was just kind of meaner. You know, I usually am a pretty nice person, but mm -hmm. the producer is a mean person and the producer uses people. Can you give an example of something that you've done recently that's just cruel and awful? Do I have to? No. Your costume features an abundance of cleavage. Would you say that this is the most airtime your production assistants have seen in, in some time? Oh, my production assistants? Yeah, they're pretty much out there. When the fir show first came out and we got all these reviews, my production assistants were mentioned more times than my name. What were the euphemisms they used in the reviews? Um, well, the song that I sang in the show is called Tit for Tat. Mm -hmm. And my favorite was, um, you need to see Miss Spore's outfit to understand the full effect of the song significance. I thought that was really good. Because <laughs> they were talking about your tits. Because they're talking about my tits. Right. My tits are out. Yeah. Along the same uh, line of thought, you actually, your day job mm -hmm. is working at... Victoria's Secret. Mm -hmm. What would you say my bra size is? Feels so objectified right now. 36 double A. I want something um, that's not slutty. Okay. I want something that's going to uh, lift and separate. I like, want something that's a little gravelly. I don't want to forget that the bra is on. I don't know where this interview is going, I'm, but I'm going to go with it. I would really love to be inside your brain for like five minutes. It's your, a lot of your do, 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 do. <laughs> You're like your train There's a, there's of a monkey with symbols. <laughs> well, we were talking the other day about uh, my thought patterns. Mm -hmm. and and the concern that you have regarding them. That well, I, you did call me a prostitute earlier that day, if I remember correctly, so... <laughs> In all mm -hmm. fairness, you did mm -hmm. trade sex for money. In all fairness, that is a lie. Before mm. I uh, was brought on as director for the show, uh, I actually auditioned for the part of the producer. I know. And I, and I lost the part. To you. I know. How do you feel about that? I'm curious, what do you think it is that makes you so much better than me? Like in life or Just, no, in the role of the producer? In, exactly. In, in your acting, in your singing, in your dancing, in your presence, in your charisma, in your attractiveness. <laughs> What is it that makes you so much? Well, I think than you me? just said it all right there. Yeah. <laughs> my singing, my dancing, my acting, my charisma, my pre what was the other one? Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat them for you. Please do. When you're on stage, do you ever uh, feel like you're thinking to yourself, "I'm doing this so much better than Jason could ever do it"? I have thought was, I wonder if Jason gave me those notes because that's how he would do it. Are you kind of secretly hoping that I will either fall off a cliff or? You know, Stabbing with an icicle. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I wonder how drunk I'd have to be to stab her. Probably not that drunk. One time we brought down the house doing a duet together. We did. For karaoke. It was so good. Or uh, Suddenly Seymour, I think, was a song. The house was brought down. Yeah. Is there a duet that you wish we could have done that we haven't done yet? How about this? What about, um, you know, um, a whole new world? A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A hundred thousand your... things. I hate you, Uncle. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. I want to get down. You have some edamame. It's good edamame. You can go spring roll. Okay, I think we're good. I feel dirty. 